Welcome back. Now let's go ahead and talk about how to import an image or a logo to your printer. So as before, select Create File. And we're gonna go ahead and select the image icon down here, the little map, with the, or sorry, mountain with the sun there. Let's just tap that one time. Here in the Advanced menu, you'll see we have Height, Width, and Select Image. So um, before I go any further, I just want to mention that so any files that you upload into the printer, when you put them on your USB drive, need to be saved to the Surface Directory of your USB drive, and they need to be either a .png or .bmp file. Also, make sure there's no spaces in the names of those files um, so that the printer can read them correctly. So I have a USB drive here. We're just going to go ahead and insert that on the bottom side of the printer here. <clears throat> So now we can hit select image. Now on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a list of all the files that are on that USB drive currently. On the left hand side of the screen, we'll show you a list of files that are saved to the printer's hard drive. So I want to copy these logos over to the um, local hard drive. And so I'll just select one and you'll see we have a preview of that file here. And then I will just hit copy to local. Let's go ahead and move them all over there. All right, now let's select one of them. Let's go ahead and select this neat coding logo here. And I'll just going to hit load image. And so now you'll see that it is here, loaded up in my message editor and ready to save into my message. It's a little bit too big. Um, I'll need to, to shrink this message a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to half it pretty much. Great, and we're almost the perfect size there. So now I can just go ahead and hit OK. And I'll give that a name. Let's just call it image. And save it. Now if I want to print that message, we can go select it from here. And just select to print. And our, our image is ready to print. Thank you.